What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Trucker Name Jay, checking in, checking in. Well, really, Life with Jay, formerly known as the Trucker Name Jay. I don't know why. I mean, like, I I'm going to keep the Life with Jay name, but a Trucker Name Jay is who I'll always be, I guess. But anyways, wanted to come at you guys with a video, and um, I guess wanted to really just address what's next for me. Um, You know, it's, it's going into... Last week of October, and um, you know this week is really winding down. This week, this year, is really winding um, to its conclusion very quickly. And before we all get into the whole, you know, cliche of New Year's resolutions and you know what I want to, how I want to be a better person next year or whatever, you know, I just wanted to kind of. <clears throat> Do a year in review and kind of see what's like. Let's let my people know who really fuck with me. What's next for me? Like, what's the plans for Holland Logistics? What's the plan for life with Jay? Um, and you know what 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 you can look forward to seeing from me. Those who are interested in uh, looking forward to seeing from me, haters and lovers alike. I guess. Um, as far as trucking goes, as far as the business of trucking goes, um, things will proceed on as, as normal. Um, I currently have still three trucks leased on at VL Trucking, the greatest company that there is. I'm never going to say anything otherwise. I mean, I, I don't know what else to say, man. I've been with this company now for uh, over a year. Um, I never in my trucking life thought I would say that about a company, but here I am. Um and it's for a lot of different reasons, but nonetheless, I just think it's a great company, man. I think that the opportunity that they are providing, the opportunities that they've provided to a lot of the, my friends and associates is just unmatched by a lot of other companies out here. There are some good companies out here, but from my job hopping experience and all the bullshit trucking jobs that I had had, man, it, it just won't even close you know, to the experience that I've been provided here at VL Trucking, and I'll forever be grateful. I'll continue to be grateful for that. So um, moving forward, it's just about maintaining my situation here with them, building my relationship with them. Um, I will continue to promote them. I will continue to recruit for them. You know, that's just not going to stop until I ever believe that it's not a good situation, which I just don't see that happening. Um, when you look at what they offer to both company and lease drivers, um, with the amount of experience that they require, I just, it's just unmatched to me, you know, the amount of money you can come and make here, gather your experience, learn, um, and, and get better <clears throat> and, and move on or, or grow with them. However you choose, um, you know, however long you choose to be here. Um, and, and that's what I'm gonna do. I plan on being here. You know, the, the way I look at it next year, I'll be halfway through, one of my lease trucks, and I know a lot of people who don't agree with lease trucks and paying off lease trucks and all those things. Hey, man, cool, that's fine, but for me, I'm halfway through next year, and that's a big deal to me because it's still a lot of things that I can accomplish with these trucks once I pay them off. You know, a lot of different avenues that I can pursue, um, whether it's my own authority, whether it's you know pulling containers, which is what you do with older trucks, anyways. There's a lot that I can accomplish still with these lease trucks, even after uh, they have been paid off. And a lot of people think you can't get no more use out of them because of however many miles they'll have or whatever, whatever. I intend to prove that theory incorrect. Um, as far as expansion, I definitely do want to grow the company. Um, if I'm being honest, I would love to double the company next year. So that means three more trucks. I would love to do that. Um, however... It's just all about timing, you know. What I've one thing I've learned about running a fleet this year, one of the more important things is timing and, and being ready to make a move. When I say that I mean things may seem like, you know, it's the right time to make a move, but you really gotta really be ready to make a move when you add a truck, add a driver, or just make a drastic change like expanding your business. You just got to make sure you're really ready for everything that comes with that. So I'm going to take my time 
with <clears throat> with that with expanding but that is something that i want to do next year i see no reason why not the money will be there the opportunity will be there um i just hope that the equipment and the drivers will continue to be there as they have been so far um and besides that i mean really it's no really big plans you know what i mean expansion is 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 what every business hopes to do so that's not really no big plan you know it's 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 survival you know you really don't in business from my understanding what i've seen you don't survive by being complacent you know you don't just start off saying you're gonna do this and you just stay doing that you know that's how your mom and pops wither away and die they try to stay a certain size you know they only want to make a certain amount of money and eventually it just gets too much for them <clears throat> because they just try to stay complacent and with me you know i just want to find that balance of knowing how to move not moving too fast but still growing at a pace in which you know productivity will allow you know not being overly ambitious you know which is what a lot of people end up doing in this industry you know they they you know they have a good year or they have a good you know couple of years and they get over ambitious with their expansions or whatever may have you and it 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 folds on them and I just don't want to be that guy I'm trying to learn to look further down the line um when it comes to making those type of decisions you know and uh and just being a better boss you know learning to you know I feel like I've done pretty well with relating to my drivers um not being a, a dick you know learning to you know sometimes it's hard as a as a, just a regular company driver to see the bigger picture and why a fleet owner or a manager or dispatcher make the decisions or you know th- make the decision that they make and i've been trying to do a better job in relaying that type of stuff to my drivers you know so that they don't just feel like oh this is a fucked up situation why do we have to do this why that why this load you know i've been trying to be the guy that's kind of explaining and just giving a better you know not so much just ripping the band-aid off just kind of you know some some would say that's you know, bad. You got to kind of just tell people how it is. But I feel like a more delicate approach makes a better relationship, at least for the everyday communicating between the driver, the owner, and the dispatcher. You feel what I'm saying? Like, it's not babysitting. It's just trying to make everybody's job easier. You know what I mean? You know, nobody wants to You know, the way you say things to people matter. You know, nobody wants, of course, nobody wants anybody to hold nobody's hand all day, every day. But nobody wants to, you know, be talked to a certain type of way either. You know what I mean? Like, everybody just wants to be respected. And I'm just trying to learn how to be as respectful and as firm as I can be as a boss uh, uh, to my drivers without them being offended or feeling like I'm holding their hand. So, um I said a lot. Um, that's really all business-wise that I'm really, I'm not really looking to start no other businesses. <clears throat> um, I mean, you know, I have my YouTube that I'm not as active with as I should be. I know I have my trucking business. Um, I really don't have any other business ventures that I'm looking to actively partake in right now. Um I could come up here and shoot smoke and be like, oh, I want to get into realty and I want to do this, I want to do that, I want to do this, which is what a lot of people come up here and do. But the reality is, is I'm still perfecting my trucking business. You know, I don't want to disrespect trucking for what it is, man. This ain't a simple process. This ain't just something that you do and you master and then that's it. No, you have to keep at it and, and keep learning. You know, I feel like, you know, a lot of the YouTubers that have messed up with their businesses is because they got complacent and they stopped learning and they, and they took their ears from the street and they just got cocky with it. And I just don't want to be that guy. You know, this means a lot to me to be able to sit at home and provide for my family in ways that, you know, I never thought that I would be able to provide for them, especially not from working from home. So, you know, I'm just doing everything that I can to protect that. You know what I mean? Doing everything that I can to grow that. Um, as far as me personally... Um, as it stands right now, I am 370 pounds, 
which is the smallest I've been since at least 2013 to 2015, somewhere in that range. Um, <clears throat> actually, I got down to 365, but I gained five pounds back. Uh, that's, you know, bad on me. But, with, you know, what are you going to do, man? You catch yourself. You try to, you know, not beat yourself up too bad. <clears throat> I kind of found myself a routine that I'm not going to reveal right now. Um, because again, I've always got up here and talked about what I was going to do and how I was doing. And I don't want to do that until I'm pretty, excuse me, pretty consistently into my weight loss. So <clears throat> I don't really want to talk about my weight loss too, too much until I'm a hundred pounds down. Once I get to a hundred pounds down, then I'll start making videos and I'll start, posting maybe daily tidbits because I just don't want to be I've like I guess I've done it in the past where I'll lose 20 pounds here 30 pounds there and go back so like I said as it stands right now 370 pounds I'll be 100 pounds would be 344 pounds so that's 26 pounds away um so once I lose another 26 pounds then I will start documenting my journey from the 344 pound mark and that way I'll feel more confident and broadcasting what I got going on. I can show results. You know, a lot of you guys have been following me for a while now, so you can vouch for how I used to look versus how I look now. You know, I can see differences in my face, even looking at myself here now. I can see differences in my face. Um, my energy is different. Um, you know, I'm, I'm a lot more active than I have been, especially in the last 90 days um, because of circumstances. Um my, my my legs haven't been swollen in about a month. That was a huge deal. It's just a lot good going on my physical. But like I said, we'll get into more details on all of that once we get 100 pounds down um, and start putting those on the Life with Jay um, channel, which is this channel, of course. Um, besides that, that's pretty much it, man. Like I said, it really ain't no really no big plans. Um, you know, no big announcements. It's just more the same. Just, I'm just trying to fix my life, man. You know, for so long, you know, you guys have seen all of my fuck ups. You know, I've never really hid a lot of my fuck ups. I've always come up here and been super transparent with my health, with my financial woes, with my inconsistencies, my mental woes and all those things. And, you know, it's just nice to finally be in a position now at 30, about to go into 31 to be able to start putting those pieces together. You know, trucking is coming together for me. My health is starting to slowly come together for me. Um, you know, my family is together. Uh, and so I look forward to growing, if nothing else, you know, going into the end of this year, finishing this year and going into next year. I look forward to growth. I look forward to learning. I look forward to just becoming better. And, and if you're still subscribed to this channel, uh, whether you've been here the whole time or you're new, I just hope that you look forward to growing with me as well. And that's what we're looking to do going into 2022, you know, financially, going financially, going physically, mentally, spiritually, and all those things. And uh, with this channel, man, I really hope that <clears throat> that we can inspire some other people to change some things about themselves, whether it's about trucking, a, a trucking decision to lease a truck to, to, to change their family life or to get their CDL or to work on their health, whatever this channel inspires you to do. I just hope that, you know, you, you stick around and grow with us. And um, that's what it is, man. I just wanted to make this video. And um, that's really all I got, man. I appreciate all the people that's been subscribing and, and showing us love and support. Instagram on um, Trucker Name J is what it is. Uh, Twitter, Trucker Name J is what it is and everything. Email me, Trucker Name J at yahoo.com. Uh, again, man, just appreciate the love, appreciate the support, uh, appreciate the well wishes when I was a little, you know, sick in the mind. You know, when I was going through what I was going through these last couple of months, man, I just appreciate it all, man. And, um, yeah, that's, that's what I got going on, man. That's the plans going into. To, to 2022, man, we're going to grow, we're going to get better, and um, we're going to keep it going, man. Y'all already know what it is, as always. Stay safe, stay positive, stay productive, God, family, trucking. And remember, man, everything that you want in life is on the other side of sacrifice, man. I'm gone.